when but when attrition did climb and which since uh, improved when you when you got to the 10 club mark um how did you start going to because now you, you know you have super centers there 32,000 square feet? No, they, these were all, our model then was about 25,000 square feet. So after Tyrone, we opened up in East Bay, we opened up in uh, Carrollwood, and uh, we opened up in, um, um, in Hyde Park. And how did you, how were you able to motivate your managers to run the stores as if, you know, as close as they could be without you managing these stores? What was the philosophy? What were the principles that you gave to your managers and your team? To yep. be able to run those stores the way you would want them run, because you're, 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 you pay attention to the details. You're a perfectionist. You, you see all the different things. Yep. How were you able to overcome that? I, th I think uh, that was the best time of our growth was when we had the 10 to 20 clubs because the basic strategy was we met every Tuesday morning at 7:30. Remember, these clubs are open. Um, they're really busy from nine to nine, so we didn't want to take them out of the daily operation. So we had meetings at 7.30 every Tuesday morning, and the 7.30 to, eight, to nine o'clock was all about uh, recognition. We'd reward all the, recognize all the top performers. We always had education in there. So the first hour and a half was all about sales training. They'd go back to the clubs, and then we'd have the managers there, and we drilled down on every bit of information we could. We talked about attendance reports, gender reports, zip code reports, where were the members coming from, we looked at dot maps. We taught our managers every single thing we could about the business, and they loved it. And they became, um, they became thirsty for more information. And, and we continually educated them about how the business ran financially. And, uh, and those people eventually became the district managers uh, that grew the company from there. So um, I think open book management and sharing.